embattled Yoruba nation agitator Sunday Adeyemo, popular known as Sunday Boho, has been in the eye of the storm since he was arrested by the operatives of Brigade Criminelli, Criminal Brigade on July 19 in Kotonu. Despite frantic efforts to get him released, checks by our top source show he has spent over 150 days in Benin Republic Prison. Today, December 19, if not released, he will be spending 153 days in detention. His supporters have expressed worries over prolonged stay in detention. Some alleged that the Benin President Patrice Talon is working with the federal government to extradite Igbo back to Nigeria. Others called for prayers and spiritual support. Earlier this week, Igbo was among the top trending people category of 2021 year in search list on Google. Many groups, including Agbekoya Farmer Society, the diaspora groups have staged protests to demand the unconditional release of Igbo. Eminent lawyers, including Chief Yamin Aliyu San, Pelomi Olaje Gbesi, Benin Republic based team of lawyers, including Ibrahim Salamin Olushegu Falola, have been providing legal services for the embattled agitator to secure his release. Our sources learned that Igbo is unlikely to be released on bail considering the political interest involved in his case. Earlier, one of his lawyers had said Igbo might be held in detention for weeks pending the conclusion of investigation. Our top source reports before Igbo's arrest, his Ibadan home was raided by operatives of the Department of State Services DSS, killing two of his aides and arresting 12 others during the operation. The 49-year-old agitator who narrowly escaped during the bloody raid was subsequently declared wanted for allegedly stockpiling arms to destabilize Nigeria under the pretext of Yoruba nation. Igbo, after going underground for 19 days, was finally arrested in neighboring Kotonou, Benin Republic, while trying to travel to Germany. He was arrested with his wife, Ropo, but the, the appeal the Kotonou ordered the release of the wife based in Germany, saying there were no allegations against her. Since he was arrested, the legal battle to either extradite Igbo to Nigeria or hand him back his freedom has witnessed a series of dramatic twists and turns. The court on July 27th ordered that he should be remanded in a facility in the country pending the conclusion of the investigation. At also lands a trial judge who is currently investigating Igbo's case will table his ruling before another judge who will give judgment. Sunday Igbo's lawyers had said the Yoruba nation agitator was remanded to allow police to conduct a thorough investigation into the charges, which included illegal migration, attempt to cause civil unrest orders. Meanwhile, an Oyo State High Court had awarded 20 billion naira as exemplary and aggravated damages against the federal government after Igbo sued the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, the Department of State Services, DSS, and Director of State Services, Oyo State, demanding 500 billion naira in damages over the raid on his Ibadan home on July 1st. The federal government, through Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, Abaka Malami, also said that it was not opposed to a political solution to the Igbo case 
and that of the high pope leader Nabi Kanun. Pelumi Olajegbesi, one of the activist lawyers, had said in an interview that the chances of getting Igbo out of prison in 2021 was very slim. He, however, does not rule out the possibility of Igbo's release as he added that efforts were being made to secure his release. Frankly, the hope of getting him released this year is still very slim. There are diplomatic consultations going on in respect of that because, as you know, Igbo, in the eyes of the law, is a very free person. He has committed no crime. We know he is being held against his will. He is a prisoner of conscience and so we believe that he will be out soon, but I can't guarantee he will be out before the end of this year. There are a lot of diplomatic discussions going on in that regard. I can tell you right now that Chief Sunday Bo is hale and hearty, very motivated, a very strong person. If you know him very closely, you will know he's a very courageous person. We continue to pray that God gives him more strength to remain focused. My via Saturn was your take, was your reaction to this as um, hope deems for Igbo's release as agitators spend 150 days in Benin detention. Please uh, drop your reaction on the comment section and your voice will be heard loud and clear around the world. Then uh, we'll go straight to the comment section because we have said a lot and uh, the first uh, reaction that we have here now is from uh, uh, Jubri Sudan. Jubri Sudan says, uh, what do you expect when Igbo hands is soaked with the innocent Fulani blood? Karma is working on him. No peace for the wicked. That is according to Jubri Sudan. What is your reply to Jubri Sudan? And they will have like uh, uh, 11 replies here already. And the first reply is from AQ. AQ says, uh, you lack of brain, so go. We, you lack of brain, so go. Okay, that's according to uh, AQ. Then uh, also to Latunde also replies to Jibri Sudan, says uh, Mumu. Then uh, Wokoma Nana also replies, says, uh, uh, saying uh, full of you. Then uh, Jibri Sudan uh, did reply to AQ saying uh, your stupid brother will rot in Benin cell for long. My viewers are told this all we can take for now. Ensure you subscribe to our channel and uh, make this report viral. Spread this report to other news platforms and uh, bye for now.